After about a year since the DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Crown Tundra, introducing the Galarian forms of Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, players will now finally will have access to get their shiny forms. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield news update video. Now, that's kind of weird to say in 2021, but we are here. We got news about the shiny Galarian birds finally being available inside a Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, this is good for a couple of reasons. One is that previously these birds were shiny locked in game. So no, you cannot shiny hunt them, unfortunately. So this will be the first time players will have a legitimate chance of getting their hands on them. And also, unfortunately, these birds are beautiful. They are in the style of the original forms, color variations. And to me, that is fire. That's dope. Considering the Galarian forms had different colors patterns and alterations to these pokemon adding the original og colorways to them do make them look iconic and more in line with you know the the og versions and to me it's just it's just i i prefer them looking this way i'm not a huge fan of the purple looking articuno nor of the dark orange zapdos I don't know. It's, it's just not me. Moltres is fine. I love Moltres. But I wasn't a huge fan of the color choices for these birds. And now we got in the OG color choices. And I don't know. It just sticks in my brain when I think of Articuno. I think of this blue. I think of Moltres as this red. And as well as Zapdos for this yellow. So I'm happy to see that we're finally going to be getting our hands on them. But there is a catch. In order to get them. You do need to participate in side of the Pokemon Sword and Shield online competitions for the respective months for each Pokemon. This is coming from Cerebi.net. I'm going to have a link to Cerebi's article in the comment section below as well as in the description of this video. Be sure to click over and give them a read. It says the next online competitions have been announced. Along with this, the distributions for entry have also been announced. Shiny Galarian Articuno will be given out to players who enter and battle in the 2022 International Challenge of February. Registration runs from February 3rd to February 17th with battles from February 18th to the 20th. Now, if you are unfamiliar with these online battle competitions inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield, they are very similar to what we had in Sun and Moon, where you had to participate in at least one battle, where you had to register before the battle starts, participate in one battle, and then you're good to go. These competitions are usually interesting. They usually have a certain criteria for certain Pokemon to be entered. I will be doing videos on all of these as well as videos on how to register exactly for them once the February one starts when we get the first one on February 3rd. Be on the lookout. I will be doing a video on it. Hit the subscribe button as well as the notification, the notification button on this channel if you want to be reminded but yeah you got to register from the third all the way to the 17th and then on the 18th you cannot register no more but you do have to participate in at least one battle now that's what i usually do i'm not a huge online competitor but if there are rewards such as this one i will dabble my toes in and take a fight or take a l because it's usually good to players playing in these online competitions now i don't know if there are limited slots however i believe during the sun and moon era there were limited slots so you do want to register as soon as possible because if the slots fill up you, you're gonna be tight so that one was for shining articuno we also have shiny galarian zapdos will be given out to players in the 2022 International Challenge of March, registration runs from February 24th to March 10th with battles from March 11th to the 13th. Now, if you do notice and check your dates, these are usually all on the weekend, the battles anyway. So they're definitely considerate uh, as far as trying to give players the best time period to play these one battles requirements. And it's one battle. You could go in just, you know, with a crappy team and just make sure that all your team faints 
let it count as a win for the other player and you should be good and then we also have shiny galarian motres were given out to players who enter and battle in the 2022 international challenge of april registration runs from march 31st to april 14th with battles from april 15th to the 17th now do note you do need to participate in each one of these each one to receive the one you want so if you just for whatever reason want motres then you need to participate in the one in april for motres and then in february for articuno as well as the one in march for zapdos and then april for motres if you miss one that's going to be the one that you'll be missing so if you don't participate in february you will not be getting the shiny articunos and so on and so forth since another online competition will run with battle registration from april 21st through may 5th and battle starts may 6th through the 8th this is another japanese championship qualifier and gives you 50 battle points players in japan who enter in these have a chance of winning a place in the pokemon japan championship 2022 which takes place later this year now i'm not focusing on that because one i'm not in japan two i'm not super into grinding battle points especially inside of sword and shield and especially not in 2022 hit me with this probably two years ago i probably would have been all for it all on it right now when there's brilliant diamond and shiny pearl to still grind out complete the decks for and that's what i'm currently playing and then also with pokemon legends arceus this is gonna these events are gonna be happening simultaneously with pokemon legends arceus being out that's literally two main series games after pokemon sword and shield has released and that's to me insane at the same time pretty darn cool if you are a pokemon sword and shield grinder and player and especially if you are a competitive battler again this is also pretty cool because you're getting rewarded with pokemon especially shiny pokemon shiny legendary pokemon and it's the bird trio first time they're being available as shiny again this event to me hits all the bells and whistles exactly what i want from pokemon events get rewarded for playing the game playing in the competition it, it's pretty cool now let me know your thoughts of this event in the comment section below like always guys i answer all comments so we can have that conversation down there let me know which of the three shiny legendary birds is your favorite to me i think i have the most growing attachment to articuno and that's just because when i first played red and blue i bumped into articuno and got articuno first it was part of my team i didn't even know it was a legendary i just know that it was in a secret cave and it was there just standing there and it was a dope ice bird at the time and i was just like oh my god pidgeot you're sitting in the bench i got an ice bird that's all i want and i didn't even know about the power plant until later on until after i completed the game and some kids showed me that there were a power plant that you could surf to and then motres was something i kind of always skipped over in victory road and i don't even know how i always skipped over it but again it was one something that i always skipped over playing red and blue eventually i bumped into it but it was after i already beat the game and beat the elite four so no real strong attachments to those two but article no yes let me know yours in the comment section below peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one.